Hi, I'm David Kainer for ExpertVillage.com, and I'm going to talk about some precautions um, or risks associated with um, violin bows. Um, a, a fairly easy one to talk about is simply um, vulnerability of bow hair. Um, it's hair. It cuts with scissors or any other sharp object really easily. All you have to do is catch a hair on something like the, the fine tuner of a fiddle and you can, you can pull, stretch, and break hairs quite easily. Um, you can also break hairs by playing real hard, but I would say that in my case I tend to not break bow hairs when playing as much as when just handling my bow carelessly. So that's a good watchword is just handle the bow carefully. Um, there's some risk of over tightening the hair. The tighter you tighten hair, the more stress you put on the hair itself and on the stick. And I've seen bow I've seen bow hair tightened so much that the stick is actually pulled into a, a reverse curve and both the hair and the stick survived to play again. But I would say that it's, it's risky and I would avoid it. I wouldn't ever tighten bow hair so there was more than about a maximum of a third of an inch between the ribbon of hair and the stick. Another area of the bow which is really vulnerable is the area up around the tip. For one thing, there's, it's an incredibly thin shaft of wood here. Um, it's part of its beauty and it's part of what makes the violin bow play with the amount of spring and animation that it has. Um, but it's also a very, very thin piece of wood. And Therefore, a violin bow should never be, I'm now going to demonstrate what should never be done. It should never be wrapped on anything. The violin bow should never be struck against anything. Um, it should never be pushed against anything. The very tip of the bow is arguably more ornamental than structural, but when something looks that nice and is already there, why mess with it? And so the violin tip should never be struck against anything or um, stressed against anything. Another area that's quite vulnerable is the ivory tip. This ivory tip is, is essential to holding the um, plug of hair and the wedge which secures it in the mortise inside the bow. And if this ivory tip gets cracked, um, it'll, it can lose its capability of holding the hair in the tip. And that cracking can result from the bow being struck against things. It can also result, I believe, from too rapid changes in temperature and humidity. But, but once it's cracked, it has to be replaced the next time the bow is rehaired. And even though it's only a very, very small amount of material, hand fitting it to an individual bow is a tedious and exacting process. So even though it's just a tiny bit of material, 
it's actually quite an expensive repair. It's because of the time involved. Uh, I actually am so careful with my bow hair that I don't have to rehair it very often, and I, I actually am not current on the cost, <clears throat> on the average cost, if there is one, of rehairing a violin. But it's a standard repair. It has to be done eventually, sooner or later. Um, so if you're a player, you better just kind of come to grips with it. But you can, you can make it happen less often by just handling your bow with care.